ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to me? I got ADHD. It's about anything. It's about everything. It's ADHD. Welcome back to ADHD with me, Travis Mills. Uh, on today's episode, I'm joined by Zane Hijazi. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. I'm going to look at all three cameras just hey. in case. Hey, what's up, dude? Good, man. Yeah, just, thanks, you know, thanks for coming. No problem, man. I'm feeling feeling pretty dookie today, but, you know, it was, it was my fault. I drank last night. Well, so. you invited me over to David's house last night, uh, and everyone was, was turning up slash yeah. turned already. We're not usually like that. It was just a big group of us, so I was just like... Travis should come. Like, I feel like- I feel <laughs> No, like it was I, really I, nice. There's never a point where I get like, hit you up and like, come, like, hang out. But that was like the perfect opportunity. I'm like, Travis should be here too. I hit up like all my friends that like, I don't hit up a lot. It's like, just come on over to David's. not my house. I don't care. <laughs> <You're> just- <laughs> come on over to David's. Welcome. <laughs> I walked in and yeah, David was like trying to take a nap and I felt bad because I just like sat down on the couch and then he showed me a magic trick. And then we watched like music videos for like an hour and a half. Which we don't do either. Like okay. the fact that we're sitting there watching music videos on it, we don't do that at all ever. <laughs> That's why we were doing it for so long that night i was sitting there and i'm just like i i like for a second i forgot you were there because we were just watching videos and i look over i'm like this kid probably thinks we watch music videos all the time and just do nothing all you guys just hang out and just scroll through the music videos yeah. to have on, on youtube yeah but it, it was fun though because i got to see a lot of music videos i've never seen but i've like heard the song so many times so that Definitely. was very interesting to me it was cool because i'm so jaded by like just music i listen to music all day obviously uh -huh. and you know it's been like a huge part of my life but uh it was cool to like sit down and just kind of like just be in that headspace again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And kind of go deep with it. Like you remember Matt King? Yeah. He's so fun to talk shit about because he he just knows everything. <laughs> this kid knows everything. I feel like like he's like you. Have you ever heard of like Street Smart and Book Smart? Yeah. This kid is no, no no Street Smart at <laughs> all, but Book Smart he knows everything. He could tell you like every like movies that like win academy awards he can tell you for every year starting 1900 like in every category oh, like wow. he's crazy he's like rain man yeah <laughs> not i feel like i'm i'm the opposite i'm street smart and i'm not that book smart yeah no i'm I just i'm the same okay yes, that's, that's it's pretty sad but uh dude first thing i want to talk about is i was i was watching your instagram stories and you were on an airplane and uh a TV screen popped up and it was you, but it had a oh. totally different name. <laughs> so, okay. So Everett's airlines, and I don't even care because they still have not reached out to me, but like we, we were in talks about them playing my videos on the airplane. I was like, Oh my God, that's sick. Like that, like I can't wait, but you know, the whole process, you have to license it. You have to pay whoever like you're taking videos. You gotta from get to that check. Yeah. You gotta get, get that, that check. check. And it wasn't, it wasn't a lot, but like, I don't care. Like the exposure is really cool. Like and so Emirates is like a nice, it's a nice it's a, ass airline, it's right? It's like a huge Arabian airline. It's like, it's, it's really sick. And they, they wanted to use the videos of me and my little sister Hedaya, like the one in the scarf. Yeah. So it made sense like, oh my God, like people on this airplane are probably going to love watching these videos of like a brother and a sister, like, you know, Arabs interacting. So, um, and we we're in talks and we didn't even agree on anything. And all of a sudden mm, people just started sending me tweets of. Oh, so you weren't even on the, you weren't on the plane. I wasn't on the plane. Oh, so that no. was from fans. Yeah. Wow. They're like, oh my God, Zane, get, um, get that coin sis, but they spelled your name wrong. And, and what like, did they spell it as? Zane Hezagi. <laughs> H-E-Z-A-G-I. Like completely wrong. I don't like, you can't mess that up. You can mess it up by like a letter or two, but like they completely flipped the name. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, the person uploading it was dyslexic. Yeah. <laughs> but like when you're on when you're on a plane on any plane you don't usually see typos that's like i feel and if there is a typo it gets fixed immediately definitely but to this day after two weeks it's still not fixed my name is still spelled wow. wrong wow and my my management team has agreed out and say hey can you like fix this name or something we need to figure this out you need like free first class for like at least a year the, the twenty five thousand dollar exactly i was gonna one. say be because sick. yeah i watched like casey neistat had a video uh of him flying in like the nicest first class ever and it was on an emirates there's a, plane there's a shower and every like i didn't even know you could do that on planes like, I didn't either. just do it on all, all all planes <laughs> let people experience that living in a house but on a plane what's that like when you see that like when you get tagged and things like that um it's i mean i'm like very grateful i, I can't believe i can't believe how many screenshots i or uh, pictures i got 
that like the day it went up. I'm like, damn, that many people are flying Emirates that like <laughs> first that, no, class. Exactly. The or or they're just tweeting at me like like they see him like who is this kid? And then they like, hey Zane, Hijazi, whoever you are, your video's on the plane. Like, oh that's sick. Oh shit, that's sick. And um no, but I saw I'm not like I'm not mad at all or anything, but I just think it's really funny that way. Well, that must be like a wrong. huge accomplishment though, to know that like, you know, all of your videos you put a lot of time and effort into yeah. and then a huge, you know, airline is putting them on their, on their, on their flight. Right. No. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. Like I, I'll, I'll never get over that. I think it's like I'm mind blown every time an opportunity like that happens. We just want some tickets now. Yeah. That's, that's it. <laughs> no, just $25,000. Oh, there it is. You have it right up. Just let me relove that again. You know, Hizagi. Hizagi. It wow. looks so good. <laughs> Zane Hizagi. Like, I, you know what? I'm starting to get used to it. And I think they should keep it misspelled. You know what though? They spelled it right on your bio. Zane Hijazi is a YouTuber known for his comedic exploit. His videos have built an audience of over 6 million fans across social media and 2.63 million subscribers on YouTube. Dude, that plug you just gave me in your podcast. You like that? that? You did that? Okay. Yeah, okay I really yeah. like that. How do they, how do they fuck up the title, but they got the bio right. I don't know. But you know, my friend was telling me after this happened, it was actually Matt because Matt is just, I feel he's just good with everything. Matt was just like, Zane, what if they misspelled that on purpose because they knew you'd post about it? I was like, oh. of course, because they know I post like every, anything that goes wrong in my life. Well, I you're post known it. for your comedic, you know, exploits. Yes. And I was like, damn, that's not, but like, again, that makes the airline look bad. I feel like spelling someone's name wrong. But then again, I don't know. They're not answering my emails back. So I just feel like now they're just like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? Let's just keep it on. Zane loves it. He posted it on his Twitter page. So he just must love it. We're just going to keep it. You need to have your fans it. just like find their, their number and just, just blow it up. Yeah. Channel? Not the, not, okay. That sounded super bad. Blow up the <laughs> phone line. Okay. Oh my is God. That, is that an Arab job? No. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh man. I thought we were all friends here. No, dude. I'm going to have like Homeland Security showing up <laughs> at this podcast. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <Swat team. laughs> I'm about to get swatted. Holy shit. Um, oh man. Dude. Have you heard of like anybody being swatted before? Yeah, dude. I've watched the videos and that's what, that's why I'm reluctant to start uh, streaming on Twitch and stuff like that. How it's because I don't want some little shithead to like get my PS4 and be <laughs> Yeah. Like, yo, he's right here. And how do those people that swat other people, how do they get away with it? How do like they can't how do they not how are they how are they not able to track that person down? I don't it makes know. No I, sense. It has to be something with like manipulating an IP address or something and just finding out like a location. Yeah. Uh but yeah, that's that's definitely like a big hesitation of mine to uh to not start streaming on Twitch. Yeah. So if anyone it's can scary. guarantee me uh, you know, Asylum from from being swatted. I might start Twitch streaming. Yeah, <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here first, guys. I uh, really like that uh, page right there. It looks really funny. It's just airplanes everywhere, and then me. And then you. Yeah, you're like. Oh, okay. I I, I thought you were like the third search on Emirates. Yeah. You, you know, I'm terrified of flying. Really, flying is like my worst my worst fear. How often do you fly? I'll, I'll, I mean, you a have, lot. I mean, <laughs> especially during David's tour. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're on a plane every like other day. I what felt like. What makes you so scared of flying? I just feel like it's going. It's going to go down like oh, every time man. I'm like, because it's, it's, you know what? It's not even, it's not even being on a plane. It's when we hit turbulence. I just feel like the, the plane is way. losing control. I'm the same way. And right now my life is being, oh, what's the word? I don't even know the word, but like it's being, my life is being controlled by a pilot. And I don't know, like his, what if he had a bad day? And right now he's flying this plane with 300 people on board. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. What well, there's also a co-pilot yeah. who could be like, talk some sense into him. <laughs> and be like, John, chill the fuck out, man. <laughs> chill the fuck out. Imagine how many meltdowns have has happened in cockpits. I don't, like, I don't even so want, scary. I don't want to think about that. Oh my that. God. Um, <laughs> I'm the same way, dude. And like anytime, yeah, like so I've grabbed a person flying next to me before. Like I've just like someone I didn't even know, like a random stranger, just like, oh, just like held on, you know? I've done that too. <laughs> I always whisper, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like I'm really scared of flying and I know it's really embarrassing, but can you just open your window? I, I have to look outside. Like I have to be out of window seat because I have to look outside to make sure we're not going down. Oh man. It's this weird thing. And Dave is just like, dude, I don't understand why you're scared. Like if it's going down, you're going to like, that's it. You're going to die. Like that's just, how, I'm like, no, no, like you don't understand. I'd rather die. And <laughs> Way other than in a plane, it's just, it's just, it's the, it's the feeling of losing hope mm. when it's going down. Why are we? This is so dark. No, but it I got really dark. You know what? <laughs> uh, I knew I this this songwriter that I've worked with. Uh, he survived a plane crash, and like he never really told me the full story, but he was on like a commercial flight that went down, and he survived. Oh my god, that's yeah. insane. Well, and Travis Barker, who I know too. He was on um he was on a private jet, but you know that that plane went down as well. And now he he doesn't fly. He takes a tour bus uh, literally everywhere. 
Are you serious? Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, uh, that's traumatizing. It's like, it's the craziest thing, but I had a huge fear of that too. And when I first started making music, I had to fly all the, all the time for yeah. shows and stuff. And I'll never forget, like when you get signed to a label, uh, I don't know if they still do this, but I had, I, I had, I was crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? I was like out of my fucking mind. Yeah. So like they had me sit down with this woman, um, who was like a, she was kind of like a publicist, but she was like a media trainer. Like mm -hmm. she would like kind of coach you like they sit you down they're like all right tell me all the fucked up shit you did you know that anything that you've done that's horrible that could come back out and you know like uh -huh. we'll deal with this now yeah and i didn't have i didn't have like bad shit but one thing i told her was we just started talking about like i don't know like life and, and philosophy and like i told her i was like super scared of 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 flying and she like read my palms and like did, she was she was like this sweet 60 year old lady and oh, she's like no. she's like no no she's like oh you're fine she's like that'll never happen to you oh, I, thought, I thought i was like what a bitch if she <laughs> fucking says that to your face you're gonna die in a <laughs> you and I should never fly together. Yeah, no, we'd just be sitting there and just grab each other's hand. But here, while we're on this topic, I, um, I've i met a girl that's been in two plane crashes and is still alive. And guess what? I don't even know if I'm all over a lot of show this video because I got to ask her first, but I have a video of her on this plane. No. Yeah. Oh, and she texted I'll, it to you? Yeah, I want to show it to you and I want to just for you to see it. Can I show it to you right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to text her after. Am I going to be like okay. traumatized? Um... Is I it, don't know. Is it super crazy? No, no. no. It, like, I feel like I'm more scared of flying than you are. And it wasn't traumatizing. It was more like, oh my God, I have a chance if it happens to me. It's oh, almost like very. Dude. And, 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 oh, dude. <laughs> and imagine, imagine being this girl that survived twice and then you're on a plane and you see her on your flight. <laughs> I don't know if I would be like, I don't know if I'd be like, oh, we're good. We're good. There's no she, way. There's no way it's going to happen up there. I to might her. be like, oh, we're fine. She She's super lucky, dude. Yeah, no. She's like, Wow, that yeah. is unheard of. She should buy lottery tickets like every week. Oh, I agree. She should she should buy lottery tickets. Just imagine, just imagine the flight attendant just like <laughs> <laughs> it just starts freaking out because she like she's seen this girl. Well, I don't know if this is just from that movie Fight Club, but um, you know, like how they tell you to like put your your they tell you to like bend your head down, uh and cross like your your arms and shit under your yeah. legs when it's that that's just so you die instantly. Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I, someone has and told so me that, that too. your skull is intact and they can identify you. Yeah, and that's why that's why if something were to happen, I would just take off my seatbelt and just stand in the middle of the aisle because I just want to do the complete opposite of what they're asking us to do because <laughs> I might make it. <laughs> Let me find. Uh, oh oh man. Here it is. you ready? Yeah. Oh shit, dude. Oh, this is gonna be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is when she was younger she was a, literally a child she has okay? videos of both of them no just okay one. Just, just one, one. okay just one. i think i think this might be the second time she was oh. just like oh i gotta get this on camera now. <laughs> she's all used to it now she's like i know how this works <laughs> just imagine david on the plane. he's just like hey guys all right this is my last video i don't know if this is gonna go on but fucking peace out hey he's like in the wreckage like yo it's 7 a.m but the video's uploading right now <laughs> <laughs> okay Oh, dude, I don't know if I want to watch oh, yeah, this. Look, look at the video before I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> is that you naked in a shower? No, this is my buddy naked in a shower. He had a rough night, all right? Are right, you ready? Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, no. Do you hear, do you no, hear that? yeah. Oh, oh my God. Nuts. This is, so this is all she had. So this was after she didn't get anything filmed, probably because, you know, they had it. Because you're going through a fucking plane crash? <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Exactly. This, at this point, she's waiting. She, the, it's down now. And she's waiting on the wing of the plane to smoke her jewel, waiting for, for like help to arrive. But this is her look. <laughs> oh, she's cool as a cucumber, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Isn't that nuts? Oh my God. I think I know her, by the way. Yeah, you know her? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But that is crazy. 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 I could like, because what, like when one night when I met her and she were talking, we're, I think we were talking about our biggest fears and I told her that that was my biggest fear. And she was just like, oh, you're not going to believe it. I've been into playing now. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And she's like, I and I have video of it too. I was just like, get the fuck out of here. Oh my uh, God. That's yeah. Like, it's meeting. It's like meeting a, I don't, I, can't, I don't even know how to compare to that, but it's. It's like winning the golden ticket, meeting someone like that. You know, it's like, <laughs> wow. They won twice. Yeah, it's like, it, it's kind of, it's kind of like, it feels, it makes me feel good that like someone was able to like 
no document that yeah <laughs> vlog and, it and survive it basically. <laughs> they vlogged it so, yeah i'm sweating just thinking about me in that plane honestly <sighs> okay what's next um, <laughs> why is there a timer on the why is there a timer on the board Yes. Sorry. Oh, just a little close. Okay, there we go. I don't think I've had anyone uh, hop out of their seat and show me anything. Like, this is a first for the pod. And we moved the mic, too. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very, good, man. Very Solidarity. committed for you, man. Um, wow. Well, speaking of uh, biggest fears, I think we we conquered that one. That was a fuck. That's a weird video, man. Yeah. Because you just see her face, like, change. Yeah. Uh, I don't even, my, my mind is blown. Just uh, we're, this, this podcast just keeps, keeps getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> the, the fear in her face, yeah. how dark she got, she just knew. I don't mean to be laughing about it. I just don't even know. I don't know what else it's, to do. I mean, it, I, be, I think it's funny talking about her situation. I mean, because, you know, she's alive. She survived and smoked a jewel after. I think, I don't even <laughs> smoke anymore, but I think I'd start smoking as soon as I landed too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, oh, well, dude, let's talk about all the dumb shit you do um, because you have staples in your head currently. Yeah. Which I felt, you know, I felt like a sense of warmth and um, camaraderie because I, I woke up to uh, an Instagram story from you and it said only close friends. Uh -huh. And so I felt like you trusted me with this information. I did. I just put you on blast. But I saw that you That's put fine. it out. I saw that it, yeah. David vlogged no, it. No, so. I, actually, I actually put it out publicly by mistake. Oh, you did? After five minutes, I was like, oh, this is too, gra too, too graphic. I'm just going to put it to close friends. <laughs> I wake up and it's just like your head bleeding and then you at the doctor getting like a stapler <laughs> yeah. put into your head. <laughs> funny it's like watching one of the jackasses have an instagram page. so what 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 the hell happened um okay so we did we came home from a night of fun stuff and uh david likes to just pull out his camera and start vlogging and whenever we're in that state we kind of go extra for him like we we know he he wants to get something fun Crazy. so we will so we'll just kind of turn it go on above and beyond for yeah. him yeah so you sound like he's like, we, <laughs> you're mess. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm explaining to you because I'm telling you that that would all this would have never happened if he wasn't vlogging. Got it. It's, so okay. I'm letting okay. you know, like, okay. it's, it's, it's like a circus. That camera pulls up. Boop, 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 just starts. Exactly. So, you know, we're just having fun, you know, like me and uh, me and my friend Stas were fighting over a duel. And, <laughs> and I, she like put her feet up and I pretended she like kicked me off the bed, but like, she didn't. She didn't touch me, but like I just lost balance and I fell into the speaker into his like uh, roof. What's it called? A sound sound booth booth box. Whatever. It's like what plays mu like something that plays music out of, it. and it's really heavy. And I just ran. I fell right into it, and I got up and I was like. Like the camera's still on. I grab, I like grab something else to like throw it at stops. But I'm not gonna throw it at her. It's just like a just a funny shot. And all of a sudden I'm like. Oh my God, I think I hit my head. And they're like, oh my God, Zane, you're bleeding. And I go, I'm like, holy shit, I'm bleeding. And it was like a lot of blood too. <laughs> and we didn't know if we should go to the hospital or not. And like, it was like seven minutes later where I was just like, yeah, let's just let's go, go just in yeah. case. This is usually how people like either die or get into a concussion because they definitely. just don't do something quick. So we went and yeah, that's it. I mean, it, how many it, stables it, did you get? Um, I got five. Wow. You know, I, the same thing happened to me, except I was like six years old. No, I was probably a little older. I was like eight years old. Yeah. And I'll never forget it was the night before Easter because my mom and my sister uh, were coloring Easter eggs. And my dad and I, uh, we were like, fuck coloring the Easter eggs. And we were watching wrestling on the TV. So, you know, I started wrestling my dad. Yeah. And my mom's like sitting there dipping the Easter eggs and the shit. And she's like, stop, stop wrestling. You know, something's going to happen. And my dad's like, okay, well, okay, one more minute. And he picks me up and flips me. And oh. they like, you know, when I was growing up, we had speakers next to the TV and they were like, they were like wood fucking speakers. We like, have a lot in common. Dude, Travis. that's why when you oh. sent it to me, I was like, that's crazy. Cause I've literally done the same thing. And so when my dad flipped me, I was upside down. The back of my head went into the corner of the speaker and just busted my shit open, dude. And when I shave, anytime like I shave my head, you can see the scar on the back of my yeah. head. But uh, I'll never forget this because we went from wrestling. I like kind of blacked out. And when I woke up, I, my dad, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> my face was up, right? Yeah. And I could just see like my dad's chin and his nose. And he had a towel behind my head and he's running into the emergency room. And he's just like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he ran in and I had to get, I had to get staples in the back of my head as well. No, that's scary. But like, if imagine uh, we keep going dark, we keep going dark. <laughs> but, okay. So I just imagine this, this situation. So if you died, like you just died. Okay. Would your dad go to jail for something like that? Even though it was a mistake? Ooh, that's a good question. 
Because I was just imagining like your dad like fuck 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 and his dad is like I'm about to kill I my son. Do I, can't, I can't do time. I can't do time. I'm gonna go to jail and I'm about to do time. <laughs> He's like, like no, fuck very, fuck yeah. Very interesting. Oh man, no, but you know that's like I feel like the biggest. Uh, I told you so for my mom. You know because yeah. she was just sitting there like I told you, <laughs> yeah. I told you so. And it feels good when you when you have a I told you so moment. Too, oh so. man, yeah, and you know what? That's not the first. My dad. Acts, this is gonna make my dad sound horrible. My dad's an amazing guy. Yeah. He's incredible and like the best father. I know, he, was just, I mean, I, I, he was playing. He was playing with you. I mean, <laughs> it would be an awful father if he grabbed you and threw you at the speaker. I mean, that's. But another time, my sister, she was like five years old, and my dad used to have these work trucks um, with like you know the sliding door. Yeah. You know what I mean? The slide, the van with like the sliding, the yeah. sliding door in the back. And my dad was getting something. We were at my aunt's house, and my dad was getting something out of his car, uh, out of his van. And my sister, my little sister thought that he was leaving. So she ran up to like say goodbye. And she's like, dad, dad, dad. And he went to close the door oh, and didn't see her bro. going. Uh. And bro like busted her shit on her forehead. <laughs> and she still to this day has a scar right here. Oh, so. that's not funny. Why, why, why? No, it is. It's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. The, so she, her head was inside. Her head, he, <laughs> he was like, you know, and it was like, I mean, this is the 90s, dude, where cars were like made of like metal and shit. So like once you start closing that sliding door, like. Yeah. That shit is not stopping. <laughs> it was like not. an Astro van. Yeah. And so, you know, she like was like, dad, dad, dad. And the, it was just. <sighs> and you know, the noise too, the noise it makes. Oh man. Just split her shit wide open. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. yeah. Would, would you say like, that's like the dumbest injury that, that you've given yourself? Yes, definitely. Okay. I mean, that, because that, I, I could have, if I landed in that speaker, just any other angle or any other way, I would have had a concussion and that's it done. Like, but, um, but another one I've had one more, which is pretty bad was I, could, I was, I'd always, uh, my dad used to always play soccer with his like friends, his team. And I'd always like kind of sit there and play soccer by myself with cleats on, like just waiting for him to finish. And one day I was, you know, the, you know, the goal, the, the, the goal, like the soccer goal with I'm the familiar. net. Yeah. So I don't know why I did it, but I decided to just start running on the net and I just <laughs> tripped and my chin landed on the metal bar that's no. holding this goal. And I just, and I got up and just, my chin is just open. And my dad just like starts screaming. He's like, we need to get to the hospital. We just rushed to the hospital. I think he's calling me an idiot the whole time because that was like the dumbest, that's probably actually dumber than the other one. So what are you doing? What am I doing running on this net with cleats on? Like that's the worst thing you could do. That's why you have a beard now full time. So exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I still, I think I still have a scar that I see it when I'm, when I'm fully shaved. <laughs> There's but, like a patch that just doesn't grow. Yeah. But I, I have a fear of like, like getting hurt. Like, I don't know. That, that's another like a little fear of mine too. I don't like getting hurt. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think anybody likes getting hurt. Uh, no, no, they, no. There's like when like when David uh, wants to do a bit where he's like shoots one of us with a paintball gun. Everyone's down to do it, but me. Mm. And I don't know. Like it, I don't know if it makes me. I go paintballing all or, the time. By the way, and David's paintball gun is like a single shot. Yeah, I got the real deal. I have, oh, like the, a, brrr, I have a two thousand dollar paintball gun. Yeah. So if you if you ever want to get him back. We can make that happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, he's never, I mean. That was a bit, by the way, that was a big fear of mine going last night, like going to the house. Yeah. Is I was like, if anyone shoots me with a fucking paintball oh. gun, <laughs> I'm going to be fucking pissed. Because he's been shooting one person every video. It's really? Like, it's yeah. like a thing of his now. Like, I think he just likes shooting people with paintball guns. It's like, a, it, it, it gets him excited. I don't know, but he's going to get it back one day. It's going to be bad. I went paintballing on Saturday uh, with Jock Peterson. He plays for the Dodgers uh -huh. and, and it was crazy because uh, he brought brought a bunch of these kids who were like, you know, on, you know, baseball teams and high school baseball teams. So it was like, you know, probably 50 or 60, like, you know, 10, uh, younger than that, like seven to like 15 year old kids yeah. that were all playing with us. And like, first I just thought it was going to be like me and Jock and some of the dudes from the team. But like when we showed up, it was like, you know, he, he wanted to like bring some kids and shit. So oh, I was like, man. okay, cool. But I was like nervous. And like, I felt bad because like, I'm lo I'm good at playing paintball, right? Yeah. Like I take this shit really and seriously. How old, are you? how old are you again? Oh, I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> this is on Saturday. This is like oh, this, this is was, Saturday. Oh, okay, wow, well, I didn't this hear is that. This Saturday. Wow. I thought this was like a story. Okay. <laughs> uh, and so I, you know, and so we get out there, and like literally, I'm shooting like seven year olds and like their dads, and I felt like a I felt like a piece of shit. Fuck yeah, man. Um, but I could see why David takes you know great pleasure in shooting yeah. you guys because I mean it is fun. But yeah, I, I got like it. I got like welts on my wrist and on my arm and on my back. And I mean, you deserve it. You're trying to shoot seven to 15 seven, year old yeah, kids. Yeah, I'm shooting seven year old kids. Duh. Yeah, <laughs> you know what the thing is bad. though, dude. Those little they're fucking cheaters, dude. They're <laughs> cheaters. They don't get out when you shoot them. 
It's like I play with honor. You know, I have pride when yeah, I'm out but, there. But like that means they're just getting shot more than. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's not really a good thing. That's why I shoot one of them one time and he stays in. I'm like, dude, buddy, you don't know what's going to happen. You just go up to him and like, I shot you, motherfucker. You better get the <laughs> I definitely had to watch my mouth. I definitely had to like simmer down a little bit because I take this shit. I, I get real serious. I'm surprised it. you guys like let young kids play with you. Uh, dude, it was Jock's kids. idea, dude. I, you know, I, if I showed up, it would have just been like, you know, dude's day. But, uh, yeah. you know, it felt, no, it was cool because at the it end, it turned like, into a birthday party. Exactly. Mm. And it was fun because for the last game, I switched sides because it was pretty, it was like pretty, you know, it was like 14 of us against like 50 of them. Yeah. But for, and it was like, you know, a lot of the adults on, on our side. Yeah. But for the last game, I went on the kids' side and just left. Lit everybody up, and they're all stoked. It was it was cool. They're all in a line behind you, just (laughs) dude. I took like a gang of little kids, and I was like, "All right, you go here, you go here. Shoot these fools when they run by." And so it was, you know, I'm not, I'm like not a great baseball player or or coach, but uh, I I can be a paintball coach. That's a that's a great video idea. Yeah, you want to do that? Just playing with a bunch of kids, and you're just telling them to go. It's just a funny movie scene that's, for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get, I want to talk about like, you know, obviously you're in the vlog squad. Mm-hmm. You have a crazy YouTube channel as we've seen from Emirates Airlines. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to title this fucking podcast. <laughs> Zaki. No one's going to find it. You just, <laughs> um, all your fans are going to comment like you piece of shit. You don't know how to spell his name. You don't deserve to have him as a guest. <laughs> um, how did you start with all this stuff, dude? Um, Vine. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Vine. Um, me and Heath, would post videos uh, in Florida, like for fun, yeah, complete for fun. It was has Heath always been a cowboy? Yeah, yeah. yeah so Florida, he's always Florida born. Boy, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, you know, I'm surprised I'm not like that either because like everyone that lives in our hometown are all, pretty much all yo wear cowboy like boots and cowboy hats. No, no, it's not like that. It's more just like like camo, just like a lot of camo, you see a, lot a lot of car, camo, a lot of trucks, okay. a lot of. That's where I'm from, Riverside, California. Yeah. My shit was like like dirt bikes and bros. So it's like lifted trucks and like, you know, we grew okay. up in like orange groves and like, like there was horses and like goats and like llamas like by my house. Oh, you see me, it was just like, Alligators and bath salts. That's it. That, that was the main two things in my, in my So where do that. cowboys come into this equation? <laughs> it's just, I feel like, uh, cow- like cowboys are, I feel like are the same as like, it's, a, it's the same realm of people that wear camo all the time. And okay. Like, you know, they wear their salty crew hats. They go fishing a lot. Right? I was going to say, you go fishing. Like you, same- are you an avid fisherman? Um, An avid? No, I'm not. No. I don't like fishing. It's, it's never been fun for me. When Heath goes, like, sometimes I'll go with him. If he's like, hey, you want to go fishing? I'm like, sure, for you. Like, I'll go for you. Like, I don't like fishing at all, but... It'll be a boys' day, you know. But we used to do it a lot in Florida. We'd go all the time, like at this golf course. You, we, you're, you weren't a lot of fish there, but we would just you be just there did all anyway. the time. We just did it anyways, and yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. That's how we that's how we first met. Was he? Um, it wasn't the first time we met. We actually didn't really like each other in high school. It, we were really? never really a uh, big fan of each other. No, like I remember just like just remember moments where I'm at the mall and he would walk by me and just like call me names or something. Just like it's. I mean, it's no, no. It's not a, that. That sounded really bad. But like, it was just a lot of like, you could tell when like two people, like two people just don't like each other. They just, they show it without like really showing speak, it, showing it. Yeah. It's, it's like weird. LA. It's yeah, like LA. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, and one day I like his group of friends and my group of friends, we went bowling, but like we were separate and we saw each like people saw each other and they were just like kind of crowding with each other. And he was just like, Hey dude, you want to, you want to go outside and just have like a cigarette or something? And I was like, sure. Yeah, let's, let's do it. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, but that was just a really funny, uh, funny part. I um we go outside and we're just talking for like five minutes and he's like hey I'm going fishing tomorrow you want to come I'm like sure and then I uh, we then we went fishing a lot romance yeah and then I think it was like maybe eight months later we we made a vine channel together and, and you're like hey saying. yo Heath I fucking hate fishing yeah Can you stop fishing please <laughs> <laughs> no no fish, I mean it's it's fun when you have a little a couple beers in you and you're just like you're there with your boy it's 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 fun. It's boring, but it's fun. So you guys started on Vine. How like when was like how long did it take before you actually started getting like recognition and you started getting views and stuff on that? Um, I don't know. I I feel like it was probably like a year when it just started picking up a lot of traction, a lot like as in like maybe over half a million. Mm-hmm. Not because because uh, in Vine like on your on a Vine page, half a million isn't a lot. It just isn't for some reason, like having half a million on YouTube is nowhere near having half a million on Vine because Vine was just easy. It's like almost like following a, like a meme account or something. I don't know. It was just like, it was just different. People didn't really like, 
your those numbers weren't able to spread across on all <clears throat> all platforms. To, yeah, it's like if you exactly. had half a million on there, it didn't mean you had half a million. Yeah, on Instagram it wasn't. Or it wasn't like strong. It wasn't strong at all. But like that, it was. I, I like. I Vine is so special to me because it it was able it was able to um, introduce me to my best friends right now. Mm. You know, like if it wasn't for Vine, I would not be sitting here doing anything with these with the best people I've ever met in my entire life. So yeah, I'm always so grateful for Vine. That's awesome, man. And yeah. then when did you guys decide that like, hey, we want to start making actual videos? Um, <clears throat> I think it was because we were we were in David's videos for like I think a year, a year and a half. We were just committed to David's stuff, like making sure like we help him film and stuff. But we were doing Vine on the side, but it got to the point where like it was more just more fun and it just it it did us better just being in David's stuff than even than continuing on our own Vine pages when we and Heath and I had like three and a half million followers, but it was better just being in one of David's vlogs and posting regularly on Vine. Wow. It's crazy. And um, so we just started doing that. It was so much fun. We had so much fun doing it. And after a year and a half, Vine was completely like it was out, like gone, that app deleted. RIP. And we and we had to we, we had to like pay our rent somehow. There was really no, nothing else. And you know, we couldn't ask David to pay us. It just would never work out. It's not like a TV production where you like pay people. It's exactly. like it's his channel. David's working hard for he he's gonna he makes all the money off his channel. So what we did was we had to make our own channels if we wanted to start like, you know, making some money to help pay rent and stuff. So we did. Was there like a lot of like Almost like, yo, let's try this shit out. Let's try this shit out. Um, I think we all started vlogging similarly sim similarly to David because we, we were just so used to that. We mm. enjoyed seeing- It was like the environment cut. you guys were in. Yeah, it was just something we've been used to. So I think we've started- we started to like film like that it, in the beginning. It was really, it was kind of like sour because like David wanted to follow a certain storyline and we were kind of, we were filming on our own. So it kind of ruined like characters in his videos because it was almost like a show. But like after two months, it was just, everybody got used to it. And we got, um, we were just really good at like helping other people. Hey, like not all five of us can have our cameras out when something's happening. We just kind of take turns and shit. And like, now it's just, it's really good. Now it's normal. I'm sorry. Oh, dude, you could leave that on. You can answer calls on this. You know there's I'm no, gonna, there's I'm, no rules. I'm just going to have my text on just playing the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm texting this whole entire conversation. I'm not even going to look at you. Yeah? Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, that's awesome, man. And then, so what made you and Heath want to move to LA? Um, did you guys move at the same time? <clears throat> uh, yeah, we did. We did. Um, we were actually going to go to FSU for film school. And... Uh, one of our Viner friends just convinced us like, hey guys, like you cannot be in school for two years and go to LA. Like that, that's just not how it works. You need to go now there. or never. You need to go now or never. Like, and I, you, pro you guys probably don't have a lot of money to like, to be living out there, but you just have to try to make it work. I mean, Heath and I are like, fuck, okay, I guess we're going. We, and this is, we didn't like quit our jobs before we left. We, we've, we've. Where like, were you working? We, we we were making money off Vine, like okay, just okay. brand deals here and there, but like we were saving up because we didn't have to pay for rent or anything because um, we lived with our parents. Yeah. So it was just basically just saving up to move to LA and we were able to move out to LA, but like we spent all our money just moving out there, like our cars, down payment and everything. So we were living paycheck to paycheck for a really long time. We were living paycheck to paycheck until we started YouTubing. What'd your family say when you're like, yo, peace out, I'm going to LA. They... I, honestly, they're probably they're probably just like scared. They're like, "Oh my god!" Like we I don't, we don't know if Zayn knows what he's doing because they didn't really understand the whole Vine thing. They never understood it really, and I think it was later on. Um, Honestly, I don't think they understood it until we would go out. It, very recently, like after being on YouTube, we'd go out recently, and when people start like recognize me in public, which is so cool, like to, to experience that, my parents would see that and they'd be like. What oh my fuck? God. It, it, so it, maybe it is something. I feel like parents have a hard time like really understanding stuff like that unless they see something. Like if they went to like VidCon, they'd be like, what the hell is this? Like, how is this happening? So um, I know I say that all the time too. It's like, I could like, I'll have the craziest day ever. Like, you know, I'll be with Ray Schremert or something. Right. Yeah. And, and I'll call, you know, if, like if I told my mom that she'd be like, what? Like, yeah. who the, like, that means, you know, I'd be like, yo, I met Kanye. Like, what? Who cares? Yeah. Like, you know, but if I'm like, hey, uh, uh, Forbes invited me to go do this interview. Like, oh my God, oh, Forbes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yeah. And it's like, it means nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, okay, so that's how I get your attention. Exactly. The only, yeah, the only celebrities my mom knows of is like the Kardashians. That's right. Because she <laughs> loves watching that show. But that's the only, I feel like when it comes to celebrities, that's the only people that she knows. Have you met any of them? 
I've met uh, Kendall and Kylie. Okay. Both. Really sweet girls. Yep. Uh, David actually surprised me with Kendall for my I saw, birthday. I was, yeah, I saw that in the video. Uh, I, it, was, it was so crazy. Like my mask came off or my blindfold came off. And I oh, I swear to God, I thought it was a look like this. Like, There's no way Kendall Jenner sitting in front of me in David's house. Like how did that happen? But it, it, he, he made it happen. And what you, okay, so you take the blindfold off and they're there and you're like, holy shit, what do you guys do next? <laughs> well, we, we, we all like, so everybody like, we, we kind of fit, like that was done. And then we, I turn around and I see a mechanical bull in the backyard and I freak out. Cause I just thought it was the funniest thing that he was able to get a mechanical bull in the backyard. So we all just huddle around the mechanical bull and we all like, he, we each start getting on. I was actually the first one to get on and Kendall's like controlling the She's the like bull. moving it and She's shit. moving the bull. And I just thought that was the funniest thing in my head. Like I was like, after all that, I went to the side because um they blindfolded me for like, I swear to God, it felt like 10 minutes. And I like, when, when I'm in that, like when I'm in that, uh, the bird that, box. Well, yeah. In the bird <laughs> box. No, when I'm in that situation, I get really anxious and like, I start like breathing heavily. I start sweating. So like before that happened, I like my heart was beating fast. Like I didn't know what was happening. Cause I honestly thought I was just going to get shot by all these with a people. paintball gun. <laughs> so I just didn't know. And after all that, and after it was just such a high where I had to like go to the side and just take a breather. I'm like, Jesus Christ, that was a lot. Zane, you just breathe. And then I went back out there and we just like continued the night, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It was really. Did you send your mom the video? Um, yeah, I think I had, there was friends like recording that the whole time. So I just sent her that like, mom, you're not going to believe this. Like, because she loved, again, she loves watching that show. So she, she just, she couldn't believe it either. She had, she didn't understand how that happened too. She was just like, what? Honey? I think she was crying too. I pretty really? sure she was crying. <laughs> yeah. Cause she just didn't understand it. She was just really happy for me too. So it was. I had Scotty uh, at my Apple show, on my Beats One show today, oh, yeah? um, and we were talking about your birthday party and how, because he broke his leg on that bull, right? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Scott just he can never catch a break, huh? Like, everything <laughs> bad. <laughs> was Kendall controlling it too when he broke his leg? When he broke his leg, no. I think that was somebody else. Okay. Just a random person. I'm not going to say any names him. for liability and insurance exactly. purposes, but you know. It's Ken <laughs> Ken <laughs> Ken <laughs> Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner. Sue, sue the Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor guy. Yeah. I mean, he's, his legs better now. He's, yeah, he's, he's took made a I felt, I felt like he's been in that cast for like four months. I feel. It's trying been, to remember it's been, almost four, it's been <laughs> almost four months, actually three months. You know, I feel like he's been out. I haven't seen him a lot because he's been just in, uh, like house, or, like house arrest <laughs> on house arrest, <laughs> with, his, <laughs> house with, his broken, arrest. with his broken leg. And then he's getting ready so, to go on tour. Uh, are you going to any of his tour dates? Um, yeah, I'm going to his, both of his LA shows. I think I'm going to go too. You're going to go too? Yeah, yeah. We should, well, we should just, we need it. We need it. We need to support you. Know, we need to support uh, Todd and Scott on tours. We just, we should just all, you know what? This is the prank. This is a video. He thinks 500 people bought tickets, but it's just all of us. We all you bought the tickets and we just filled the place up with just Seat us. Geek, Seat Geek just bought all the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go on stage and it's going to be David, you guys, and like a camera. Just oh my <laughs> dude, that would be so funny. He gets us like, hey everyone. Oh shit, it's just David with a paintball gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Uh, do, you, do you see yourself ever going on the road? Like, like tour? Yeah. <clears throat> uh... I don't know. I mean, like, you, like you mean a show that I would do? Uh -huh. I, I don't think I could ever do something like really? that. Really? Like to prepare for something that I could never like do it. Like I wouldn't be able to remember on stage. Like as soon as like the curtains open and it's time for my show, I just wouldn't remember what I have to get done. <laughs> I would just be like, um, well, that's I, would, set list, I would dude. have to, I know, but like, I'm just, I'm not good at memorizing shit or like remembering shit. Like, I'm just really not good at that. That's why I like acting. Like I tried to do acting. I just, I can't do it because I can't memorize my lines. Oh, for real? I have a really hard time. And trying to mix that with being a horrible actor like me, it's just, <laughs> it'll never work. So it just, just, I just stay with, stay on YouTube and I can just be myself. <laughs> have you gone to any auditions and stuff like that? I've tried. Oh my God. I went to one. It was the worst experience of my life. Were you telling and me it has nothing it? to do with them. It was just the, how I was feeling. So I get into this room and there's like eight of the most intimidating people I've ever met in my entire life. And they're just sassy. They're just like already judging me. Like the moment I walk in, they're just like, all right. So the, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, Oh my God, I got to get out of here. And it was like, and these lines were just not me. So I had to be just another character for these lines. Cause it just wasn't me, you know, because if it was, if it was something I would say, it's easier to kind of perform. You had to tap the, into it. Yeah. But like, this was just like, what was your character? I don't remember. It okay. was like two and a half, three years ago. Or was, uh, no, it was like a year and a half, two year, years ago. But I just, and 
I just do it. And it was just, I was so bad. I was so bad at it. And I'm so scared because they have that footage. Oh, it's shit. Just super, so it's just sitting somewhere. And it's just so scary that I know someone has that footage. <laughs> I should like try 20 to- 20 years. No, you should. Do I'm, you think they would give it to me? Probably. Yeah. Are you serious? You, like, there's no way they would still have it after two years. Would you, should, you should hit up the cat. Like, you should go through your email and you should find out, like, the casting director, you know, and you should email them. Oh, my God. That would be the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my entire or, life. Or we like recreate it. Recreate it. <laughs> Again, I can't act. So I couldn't act myself from two years ago. It'd be too hard. Uh, what did you feel like when you walked out? Um, failure. Really? Regret. <laughs> Just every, think of every bad word. And that's how I felt walking out of there. It was so depressing. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. I'm pretty, like, I think Heath picked me up and I was just like, it was just a really depressing day for me. Cause it was just like, I had experienced it like that. Like, I knew I was bad, but <laughs> I knew I was bad, but that really showed me how bad I was. <laughs> and for those eight people to look at me and just after that, like they were all probably laughing after I left that room. That's how no, bad it was. No, yeah, dude. it was. No, they, no. They sent me that footage. They forgot to cut what, what happened after that. <laughs> yeah, you walk <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it was, it was really funny. I feel like everyone listening is like waiting for the turn, like the, but then, you know, I got the call yeah. and there's just, there's no. You know what? I think, you know, the scene was like me flirting with a girl or something. It was, it was, that made it that much worse. I remember it now. I think it was me flirting with a girl, I think, or I was like, talking to a girl and it was like a really deep conversation yeah that i've had so, i don't know i've had weird my whole thing is like getting auditions for like characters that i just would never even get cast as like like a high school jock like there's no i don't <laughs> care how much fucking makeup you put on me there's no way that i'm playing a high school like i can't even relate to that you know what i mean i'm just like i'm fucking wasting my fucking time exactly no would you ever do stand up i i just i I, I know I wouldn't be able to do stand up. I feel like either really because stand up you have that's something you have to prepare for also. Like, but I know there's people that do like improv stand up. They just come out there and they just kind of go off. Yeah. But like I know just the curtains would open. I'd be there. So, uh, uh, hey guys, I just I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be able to be funny on stage like that. What about a podcast? I feel like you'd be. I feel like you'd you'd host a great podcast. I, I could do a podcast. I would have to like have definitely have bullet points of like stuff to talk about, and I just look at my phone. And it, podcasts are so chill. That's why I feel like I'd be able to do it because I could just like look at my phone and look at it real quick. Oh, hey, what am I supposed to do next? Okay, cool. That's what I'm gonna do next. Like it's not like a show where like imagine like you didn't know what you're doing next, so you pulled out your phone to see on stage of what you're gonna talk about next. Oh, dude, I've forgotten lyrics on stage all the fucking time. Well, like, on, like songs? Your, oh yeah, for sure. So you would look at your phone and Fuck no, it. no. Just fucking put the mic out there and just fucking just, you guys sing it. Fuck. And it wouldn't even be the chorus. It'd be just a random Dude, line. Dude, oh my God. I've had horror stories where, yeah, oh, where I just man. like fuck up shit to where like, to the point where like, I'll just start laughing and like fans will like laugh like with me <laughs> and just, I've had a panic attack on stage. Like, oh, well, no. to like where like I had to like turn around and like look at my DJ and just like pour a bottle of water on my fucking head and be like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> you see, um, um, on tour, Scott, a lot of times, I think it was almost every show, he would like forget like lyrics or something would happen. And it became, it got to the point where like, it just became a part of the show. So Scott was able to like, people were like, nobody would ever like feel bad or like get mad or something. It just became part of the show where he'd mess up. It wasn't even like a mistake. It was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 it would be a mistake, but like, it was okay. Like it was okay for that show because Scott was messing up. And it, I think it was just, that was part of the joke. Well, that's why like, dude, Snoop Dogg and Guns N' Roses and shit. Like when they play shows, they have literally like uh, teleprompters that have yeah. their lyrics on <clears throat> them for like every song. So, dude, you know, you have like a catalog of like 200 records. You're not yeah. going to remember all your lyrics. Exactly. So these fools are literally on stage. Like if you go see like any big legacy act, they literally have teleprompters at the front. Kesha, I was on tour with Kesha. She had the same thing. She just ha is it just it's like going? screens uh, that are down on the stage and literally there's someone in the back by the soundboard that's rolling the lyrics. Oh, I didn't know they were playing karaoke too <laughs> when they are performing. Oh my God, that's It's so like grown-up karaoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, Do you fuck up, do you do you get down on karaoke? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I could do karaoke. That's fine. I see your guys' stories, and you're always singing in the car. Yeah, but I always I always put a little extra into it. You know, like I don't, I never actually just sing it because I'm insecure. So I'm I'm always just like moaning while I'm singing it, or I'm just like doing some stupid shit while I'm singing. And it'll be a bar full of people, and I'm just like TikTok on the clock. <laughs> 
in the party. Like, I just start really getting, like, getting into it. And everyone's just like, what the fuck is this kid on? You're a but hard person like, to go out. It's a hard act to follow. You know yeah. what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> people just don't know if I'm just, like, high or just really drunk or I'm just, like, doing that on purpose. It's, it's, it's hard to tell. But, who's yeah. been, um who's been, like, a person that, like, who, who have you been, like, hanging out with that, like, you're most, like, I don't want to say starstruck, but you're just like, holy fuck, I can't believe I'm hanging out with this person right now. Um, it doesn't feel like that anymore, but um, in the beginning, uh, Josh Beck. Oh, okay. Yeah, because uh, as a kid, me and my brother, like Drake we would, and Josh, we would bond over Drake and Josh. Like that would be our show. We'd watch every single show, like we we and we'd watch reruns all the time, and just seeing him just in David's living room or my, or anyone's living room just hanging out like all the time. That's so crazy to me. Like, yeah, and I like I, talk, I tell my brother all the time, like is is it, like I'm just like on face. I'm like, is it that? Is <laughs> I just FaceTime something. Yeah, you honestly. really were on FaceTime. I'll just, I'll be pointing, I'll be pointing uh, to Josh. I'm like, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy that he's just right next to me? What like, does Josh say? No, he wouldn't be watching. Okay. I wouldn't do it in front you of him. You do it in secret. Yeah, I'll do it in secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're, no, we're like, no, it's, it's not, it's not like that anymore. It's, um, we're just all, we're just all friends now. So it's, that's crazy. That's fun. That's awesome, man. <clears throat> he's really, really, really nice kid. I want to, I want to get him on the podcast soon. Yeah, you should. I never, I never, I miss like, I was like, uh, how old are you? I'm 26. Okay, I'm 29. So I feel like I was like just, I'm about to be 30. Yeah. Um, I didn't watch Drake and Josh. I'm like just, I'm like just before that. Oh, uh, yeah. I watched like Lizzie McGuire. Uh, Lizzie McGuire is definitely around Drake and Josh. Time. You think? Uh, yeah. Like the Lizzie McGuire show. Yeah. With a little cartoon Lizzie. Yeah. Like, oh, no. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's, that's Hillary the, Duff. That's in her prime. The, that's definitely the same time. It has to be a, a year or two, maybe apart at least. Yeah, it was like or my no thing was like, uh, yeah, I watched, I watched like Lizzie McGuire. What else did I fucking watch? I watched the, I was, I was watching like South Park and like The Simpsons and like just a bunch of like badass shows. As a kid, I never got into it, but now as an adult, it's fun to watch those. But I just never understood it as a what, kid. South like, Park, yeah, South Park and like, really uh, Simpsons, yeah. Oh, dude, that just, used to I be just my shit. Understand it. I, but remember shows like So Weird on Disney Channel? Were you there for those shows? Which ones? Like, so Weird and that oh, something the the Jersey. Where like every time some one of the people in the friend group wore a certain jersey, they would it would they would teleport them into a game. No, and they were just like either playing hockey or a big basketball game or a big like soccer game. No, you've never really, but you're 29. I feel like that was like the shows around <laughs> your time, right? <laughs> what else? Um, uh, it's like Jackson. my 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 girls on um on the show Riverdale, Cole's on it, and so everyone's like, oh, uh, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. I never watched that either. I feel like that was later. That was later, okay. Right? That was okay. later. None shows like so weird in those type of shows that you were definitely around for it was that. So weird. Yeah. Yeah, no, never. Oh, you keep playing. I, she, I need to look at the TV more. Fiona is a rock star mom, a life on the road, her own website. <laughs> they say that like that's like a yeah. great. Her own website. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think this is it. And a fascination that makes her life. No, it is, dude. There's a Disney Channel logo. No, that does. They, none of those people look familiar, though. They're fucking posers. <laughs> you didn't even that, watch the show. No, you didn't even watch it. I swear to God, no. I've seen it. Okay, you see, that, now that you that kid, yo, looks that's the right kid there. from Brink. Yo, I had Chris Dilley on the podcast last week, and we talked about this kid and Brink. That's like literally a, a big thing. And oh he said, uh, he said, yeah, yeah. What's that's his? It. Uh, I don't know his name, but he said that he went to a bowling alley with him like twenty years ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> twenty years ago, he remembers that. He does. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't remember his name, but I pulled up the Brink poster and he was like, yo, I went to a bowling alley with that guy. Oh my God. Uh, yo, I'm not even going to lie. I was flying to South America last year uh, for a concert. Yeah. And I got sucked into <clears throat> this. Uh, I got sucked into like the movies on the plane yeah. and Brink was on there. And Are you serious? Swear to God. So I start watching Brink on the airplane and dude, it made me want, yo, uh, this is so embarrassing. I fucking, I ordered rollerblades on the flight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even kidding. That's I'm really not even funny. kidding. I was watching Brink and I was like, damn, this is hard. Like pupping suds. And like, you know, that was like their skate team that they had. Yeah. And they were like grinding the rails and shit. And it like brought me back to my youth. And I was like, fuck. And so I started, I went on YouTube and, uh, and, and I bought Wi-Fi on the flight and I started watching, like, I'm like, oh, I wonder what like rollerbladers are up to right now. And dude, kids are killing it. And, uh, and then like, I found like a cool company that was like making skates yeah. and I ordered fucking I ordered skates. That's really funny. Rollerblades. And, and I flew from South America back to New York for fashion. Dude, fashion week, okay? I went to New York for fucking fashion week. Is, is, that, is, that, is that a fun thing to do is go to New York fashion week? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, dude, it's all, it's like six days of just partying. 
essentially. Like, oh, like I thought it was literally like you're sitting there watching no, you people are. on the runway. Oh, no, no, oh, you like, are. Oh, you definitely are. Are those For, fun to watch, though? It's fi- it's 15 minutes, and then you go to the fucking party. And you just get So it's like, it's like, look, it's a bunch of like, I'm about to go in like two weeks, so I can't talk too much shit. Yeah. I mean, New York Fashion Week isn't like a brand, is it? No, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. It's like, it's like all it's the designers are yeah. showcasing, you know, next year's mm-hmm. like looks and collections and everything. And so you have, you know, you have like journalists that are there. You have buyers from, you know, big stores and uh-huh. stuff that are looking at the collections that they want to buy. You have models, you have actors and athletes and, and, and musicians and shit that go and watch. But, you know, you... You see the collection that takes like 15, 20 minutes for the whole fashion show. Yeah. They're always, they always run late. And then um, you go to the after party and then after the party is like an after, after party. Yeah. And you literally like, you, you know, you hit and like you, three fashion shows in one day and then you'll go to like fucking five parties. And New York doesn't sleep either, right? No, Darn no, you're out till like four or five in the morning yeah. and then you're up at like 9 a.m. to go to the next, next, next day fashion shows. Isn't it crazy that these fashion shows, like you see all these crazy outfits, but you never see it outside of that place. Yeah. It, it, why I, yes. did it, why, so I don't, is it, is it more of like art, like a museum almost? Correct. Is, is that how like So there's runway- like different designers do different things, but you know, there's like literally just runway collections, which they'll just show for like, you know, and those will be like dresses for like the Met, you know, the Met yeah. Gala and all that shit. Okay. Um, but, uh, and then, you know, there's, there's like certain designers that'll show their, their collection that's actually going to be in stores. Um, there's a bunch of one-off pieces, but essentially it's like, you know, it's a show. It's, it's supposed to be like, you know, yeah. uh, like they're it's fucking like a, It's like a museum. It's, it's like, it's, literally, yeah. yeah. And you know, these models are all beautiful. Uh-huh. And all, I won't even say beautiful. I'll just say like, just, just unique. Yeah. Like all of them. Very like, unique yeah. Looking, like yeah. you, like if they were wearing regular clothes, they'd look like kind of yeah. weird, exactly. you know, but they just, they, they just look like amazing. Yeah. Like, uh, ha- like half the show is the clothes, but the other half of the show is what they look so like. So much time goes faces. into casting yeah. those models, dude. And like, you yeah. know, making sure that, uh, I've walked in one fashion show and it was you crazy. Walked I walked show? in one. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was so funny. Cause like I was nervous. Nervous. And then like at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, all, all I got to do is fucking walk in a straight line. I was like, I just don't want to fall because like <laughs> I'm fall? lanky. No, I didn't. Thank God. <laughs> but another thing is like, you know, there's so many, there's fucking lights and shit. And it's like literally a straight walk. The runway is just like a straight line. Yeah. And you just walk and you turn around, but like, you're supposed to look very stoic yeah. and like, you know, stand still and like, it was so fucking bright. I really wanted to squint and just be like, like this, but you have to but look. You have to keep a straight face. Yeah, and they put yeah. all this fucking makeup on me and like eyeliner and shit. And I looked all, I looked crazy. <laughs> I looked crazy. It's not what I signed up for. That's um, funny. Dude, so. imagine me walking runaway fashion show. It'd be great. That'd be hilarious. Like put me in like a really skin tight thing and just have something flowy. And just you gotta like, walk in like a women's show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, that'd be so funny. Would I you wanna, do it? I, I would love to. Dude, that'd be so sick to like work with a brand and like they put me in a runaway fashion show but like it would be kind of a joke but I feel like Brands would never want to put themselves in a light like that where like it's Jaden kinda- Smith, uh he modeled I think it was like Louis uh Louis Vuitton's women's wear campaign where he was like literally wearing like women's like yeah. women's clothes. Yeah. Well like it that. wasn't it wasn't as a joke though. It was just like it was dead ass. Was, yeah, dead ass. No. Yeah. I, I'm talking about just like not wear women's clothes, but just like just because it's funny because it's me and I'm like chubby and I I, I have like I'm pigeon toed. So <laughs> just walking on a runway, I just think in what anything. Pigeon toed mean funny. like this? Um, yeah, I'm just like, I, I, I walk like that. Oh, okay. And especially if I'm running, you can really see it. It's, it, it's bad. It looks really bad. Do you I, run a lot? I, I feel like I had crutches. I used to have to wear crutches to like straighten like my braces feet out. Braces. Your, oh dude, my, my friend, bottom, my too. childhood friend, uh, he lived across the street from me. His name is Jordan. Yeah. Uh, he, he's same thing. He'd ha- braces he had, on his ankles. He had braces on his legs. Yeah, because he was pigeon toed. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll never forget. He was uh, he was Mormon, and so he had like ten brothers and sisters. And uh, <laughs> and uh, when I'd go when I'd go over there to eat dinner and stuff at their house, it, they just had like it looked like the fucking Last Supper, dude. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like oh my god. Like dude, if they ordered pizzas, they'd have to order like six pizzas. <laughs> and imagine like doing dishes. Like imagine cleaning. Oh up. my. That well, that's why you have awful. ten kids. You just make all of them do exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody has a turn. Every you don't every need, day of the yeah, week. they just, you know, chores are done. <laughs> yeah. Because mommy and daddy did all the work, fucking 10 kids. <laughs> 10 kids. You better be dude. taking out of the trash. You better and, do that shit. Oh my God, that's such a good idea, though. Like, you, you would never have to work 
a day in your life again if you had 10 kids. No, just, you have to work extra hard to support 10 Oh, yeah, I forgot kids. about finance. Fuck. <laughs> Unless your kids start Vine and or YouTube. Or YouTube. Imagine. Oh, my God. You got <laughs> you to, like, you, you know, you, you got to get married, and then you guys start the family channel. Yeah. You know, you guys start, like, the, the, the family channel that a lot of people do. Have the first baby, right? Once the first baby can, like, walk and shit, have them start holding a boom or something like that. <laughs> get them a fucking tripod where they yeah. can, like, film themselves and just pop out like three or four more yeah learn have one set up lights and yeah. shit you know that'd be so imagine like a little your cute kid just like setting up a camera like you see my fuck you cute kid oh like that would be so cute <laughs> your other little kid's in a suit he's closing the brand deals yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a fucking like speaking spell well, you, <laughs> yo we just got gerber baby <laughs> Just got to go I like it. Each one makes me. <laughs> oh my God. Your six did... kids, like, he's in some controversial shit. You yeah. know, he's like, <laughs> the diaper ad goes away. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good life. That's plan. a big market. That's a huge market that we're. Dude, we're gonna we should be baby influencer agency like agency. Dude, uh, let's start the first baby influencer dude, agency. <laughs> that's such a good idea. Oh my god. So you came out of the womb and you want to make videos. Yeah. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. Exactly. What would you call it? Um goo goo gaga. Um, g it's like womb tube. <laughs> Womb too. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Fre fresh out, fresh out. Dude, we need tool. a fucking hat. We need to sign our first free agent who's still in the womb. Yeah. And we do the first. I don't know if this has been done before, but the first vlog being birthed out of you and know. It's like, and, and, and it's a it's a camp. It's a brand. It's yeah. A, it's straight a brand to camera. Deal. It's like, what do you got to say to the vlog? It's wah. <laughs> <laughs> We're washing our baby off with this. Like, it's like it's like a cleaner. Dove. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dove. Targets there. And it just has like all the shit being dropped off. It's gonna get crazy like that. I feel like in a couple of years because social media, I mean, social media is like becoming so big right now. In like three years, it's only gonna be social media. So it's gonna be Jesus. just shit like that everywhere. It's scary, man. I can't wait to. Do see you ever it. wake up and like you just don't want to do anything? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel of like that all That's the time. Everybody. Yeah, I feel like that it's, all the time. It's. It's I, mo and mainly for me, it's like lack of creativity. Like I'm not able to come up with stuff anymore. It's really hard for me to come up with like something funny or something where I'd be proud of posting, you know? And that's like my biggest thing right now. Like if I had an idea to do every day, I'd be posting every single day. But dude, you've been posting. Uh, it's so funny. You, you're posting people that look like you. <laughs> And yo, you posted but, uh, one where you're like, you're like back, you know, I don't know what the fuck you were doing, but I think it was take, doing take me pool. back to summer 2013. And it literally looked like you. I'm like, was that you? Did you have dude, that fucking haircut? Dude, no, it's it, like, it, it's crazy. I have so many doppelgangers. People send me it all the time without me asking. But now I just, I recently in my last video asked for people to send me doppelgangers. So I just see so many in my feed now. And it's the funniest thing. That's great. Yo, you did a video of James Charles. Yeah. I got to talk about that. How was that? that? It was a lot of fun. I honestly, I was really nervous. I thought he was going to be really standoffish, like especially since it was going to be for my video because um, I don't know. I just, I guess I just assumed that I, I, maybe I watched a video or two and I felt like he was stand, standoffish to that person. So I like was really nervous to, you know, be in that situation. That's how I felt about Bad Baby when what? she came on my show. Bad Baby came on my Apple show. Oh, how was that? It was amazing. It was incredible. But oh, I was really? like, yeah. And I was just like, I was like, at first I was like, well, why, why the fuck are you nervous? She's like seven, 16. Why are you yeah. nervous? Oh, she was nervous to be on the no, show? No, no, no. I was. Oh, I was like, I was like, I thought she was going to like cuss me out and be like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, right. Slap she me She's just knocking <laughs> cameras and shit. <laughs> but she was great. Shit. She was great. Yeah, no, I like, I came over immediately. He was very like hospitable, like grabbing a strings. He's going, I'm like, hey guys, hang out here. He's like getting his makeup done for my channel. I was like, oh my God, he's getting his makeup fully done for my channel Bless you. like that's yeah. really that's really cool and then and then later on i'm like i mean again it's like it's pr too like you you know you, yeah it's like an image that everybody like holds portrays, I don't know. yeah portrays but it was so much fun though like i remember like halfway through filming i didn't put it in i didn't leave it in but halfway through filming i'm like james i'm having so much fun right now like dude this is like i honestly thought that this was gonna be like the worst thing ever because <laughs> because if i'm the type where like i can't do a video that with someone like like that i can't bring in all the energy like if someone else is not bringing like as much energy as i am then i i freak out and i just shut off the camera i'm like all right hey, we don't have to do this we'll just like do this another oh, really? day or something yeah i'm like like i feel like all my all my friends have like gone through that where like i'll be filming something and i if i feel like they don't want to film I shut down. I'm like, fuck, okay, like, uh, we, we don't have to do this. And then, like, 
then the next day I have to post and then I'm freaking out. And they're just like, why didn't we just do it yesterday? I'm like, I, because I didn't think you wanted to film. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm always on a film. It's just like, I just get really insecure about shit like that. So, um, but yeah. I feel like that with people, I'm like scared to hit up people to come on my podcast. Yeah. And, uh, and then usually they're like- I mean, like, you should. Yeah, I know, right? Like you blew me <laughs> off like six times. Um, <laughs> I had to pay you to get in here. <laughs> hey, dude, it was only 20,000. I mean, I, 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 whatever. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thanks for putting me out there. Now that now the next guest is going to ask for 25,000. Uh, no, but, and you know, and then li like literally I've, I haven't had really, I don't think I've had anyone be like, nah, fuck you. I don't want to do it. Um, it's been awesome. But yeah, I mean, it's weird putting yourself out there, you yeah. know, especially if like, that's like not what you're used to doing, Exactly. Um, which this is all, you know, is new for me, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, dude, well, fuck, that's almost an hour already. Dude, I'm really surprised. I didn't think we were going to make it longer than 20 minutes. I mean, I when just, we started with the plane crashes, you know, I thought, yeah. uh, I thought it was all downhill from there. Yeah, we but started, we started strong too, was, huh? <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> no, it was but great. I'm, I'm glad we could talk about that though, because that's like a, really, that's like a big part of my life is my fear of flying. Really? Yeah. It's like, I feel like it's. it's I, I think about that work. every time I get on a plane, I'm like, oh, wait, why did I, oh, why did I say yes to this? Or yeah. like, damn it, this is going to be the one, you yeah. know, the one time. But like, I'm really selfish too, because like, if I'm on a plane and all my friends are on the plane, I feel better. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go down by myself if this shit goes down. <laughs> I have all my friends coming with me. Like, there's no way. But if I'm by myself, that's like when, oh, and another thing, if there is a celebrity on I the was plane, just about to say that. I'm if like, there's someone that's super famous, I'm like, oh, I'm good. Dude, Howie, Howie Mandel was on, was on uh, me and Heath's flight going to Florida. And I like I saw him, I'm just like, we're good. There's no way God is sending this plane down with Howie Mandel on this Did flight. you watch Bobby's I'm World? I'm good. Bobby's World? Oh my God. You don't know what Bobby's huh? World is? Am I, is it has, it's, it's a like, cartoon from like back, like back when we were children. Uh, Howie Mandel was on, there we go. Do you remember that? What? Yeah. Hey, can, can we double it? check uh, if, uh, by this? the way, that's an amazing design. I'm going to use one of that for my ADHD merch. Right? You like that? Fuck yeah, that's a good idea. I, was thinking, this, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Well, I, I said it first, so you I can't. As soon as I saw that, I was just like, oh my God, I can't wait to send that to my merch person. Yeah. <laughs> and you said, I'm like, fuck, I literally can't do it anymore. Well, now I'm on record. It's my idea. But, but, uh, you, know, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. Like obviously, I'm not yeah. Oh no, no! Pull up a picture of Howie Mandel. Go back and then uh, up in the left, right there, above above the first one. Is Howie, Howie Man Mandel is Howie Mandel like? Is, does he is voice acting? Is he a voice actor? Dude, look at stuff? him with this. Look at fucking Howie Mandel. Huh? What? Yeah, that's Howie Mandel, dude. No, that's not. Yeah, I swear to God, he was like the first uh, Steve from Blues Clues before. You know what I mean? What? That's Howie Mandel, bro. What the fuck? I'm mind blown right now. Dude, I've never even heard of this show. I've never, like, that kid doesn't look familiar. Nothing about this looks familiar to Dude, me at all. Bobby's World. Yo, Burger King had, like, the toys. I went and, like, got all the fucking toys mm -hmm. from Burger King. Wow. Yeah. I, I can't even give my input on this because I, I don't, it's like, did he, is this fake? Is it, did he just put this shit together for me? No, it's like that Jersey show that you <laughs> told me about. <laughs> it's so I weird. It's like so weird. Yeah. I just made it up. No, it's a real That's show. Crazy. Uh, it, I mean, it, yeah, I haven't seen it in just fucking 25 years. That's but. really funny. Oh my God. It looks like it was like, oh, you could tell. Edited really. Oh, you <laughs> like could, yeah, dude. You could tell. Not, not up there yet. We're oh, almost man. there. Almost there. Crazy. Uh, well, dude, yeah, that was uh, that was an hour. Uh, before we go, I just want to shout out uh, that pillow guy. Uh, I think it's that underscore pillow underscore guy on Instagram for sending me these dope ADHD pillows. Uh, he just made them for me off the love and sent them to me and made sure that they're here. So maybe one day I will uh, raffle them off and, and give away some of these. Uh, if you guys watched and listened to the whole podcast, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you're listening, give us five stars. Oh, it's like a, it's like a rating. It's like a five star rating thing for podcasts. Yeah. They could really? go on there and yeah, they could just fuck my whole life up. If, what? Yeah. So make sure you give me five oh, yeah, stars. Five star, only five stars. Nothing <laughs> less than that. I go on there sometimes and I check and then some people leave like three stars. <laughs> like what? Like, but they'll what write like really good comments. Like love the podcast. I'm like, what the fuck do I got to do? Whoa, like, show, it? show nip that's or just, what? Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah. yeah. That's just hey, yeah. Up. Give me uh give me all five stars. I think we're at like 4.9 out of five stars. So I think we're doing, uh, we're oh, doing that's really okay. good. How many, how many podcasts have you had on now? Ten, you're my 10th one, dude. 10th one. Tenth Happy one. 10, man. I was hoping I'd be after Chris, but someone took my spot, right? Someone Chris took, took your spot. Oh, Chris Delia. No, no, no. I, I was hoping to be after Chris You Delia. are. Yeah, he was last week. You're this week. 
He I literally still, sat there. I he sat there like six days I ago. I can't believe you were able to get Chris D'Elia on your he's, podcast. He's the man. That's really fucking sick. By the way, shout out to Chris D'Elia because he sent me uh, he sent me a bunch of dent hoodies and baby's hoodies, and uh, I'm going to wear them on the next pod. I just haven't opened them up yet, and you know, <sighs> got to so keep jealous. them fresh. Got, you know what? What size are you? Uh, extra large. Okay. I, I, so am I. I'll give You're you like, one. I'll just stretch it out no, a little no. bit, buddy. I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll cut it up a little bit. Make it flappy for you. Uh, <laughs> and shout out NC17 too. Uh, amazing shit. You can go check it out at nc17xxx.com. Go and get a hoodie. You already know what time it is. Zane Hajazi or Zane Hagazi. <laughs> <laughs> don't, <laughs> make, don't make me relive that moment, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, dude, thank you so much. Thank You're you, the man. man. I appreciate you. You too, man. 